All right, so just a couple thoughts this morning for now. I'm thinking, does everybody understand what happens to the protein that you eat? How it comes into the body, body breaks down into amino acids, um, then it reassembles these amino acids into the protein that the muscle is. It, does, it seems like uh, some kind of circuitous pathway to get the job done, but that's, um, I'm oversimplifying it, of course, but that's how it works. So knowing that, uh, you can kind of realize that there's probably a good benefit to ingesting you know, straight up amino acids rather than complete protein you know, fully assembled into a protein. Uh, you're going to thwart any loss through digestion most likely because many of these amino acids should probably be absorbed through the intestine, I would guess. Anyway, we're getting too scientific in my opinion. Uh, so it isn't necessarily important. If you want to know the basic way to know if you're getting enough protein in your life, if you're trying to build as much muscle as you can build, as effectively as you can build it, one pretty decent guideline is um, your sweat. When you sweat, when you go to the gym and you work out and you sweat, and you probably won't be able to detect it while you're in the midst of it because it's you and it comes on slowly and as it comes on, you just, you're not going to, it's not going to stand out to you all of a sudden because it's, it's coming out of your pores and you're too close. You're just too close to see the, you know, the trees for the forest more or less, kind of, sort of, right? Or see the forest for the trees or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean. But as you sweat, you know, and you get yourself all sweated up and you, you get out of these fucking workout clothes and get cleaned up or whatever it is you're going to do and, uh, you throw this shit in a laundry basket or down the steps or wherever you throw it or you hang it on a hook on the back of a door or God knows what. When you revisit it later to either put it in the washing machine or to take it off the hook and throw it down in the laundry or something, take and smell it. And have you ever noticed that it smells like piss? If you're sweating when you train and you smell like urine, that means that there is an excess of protein in your diet. Now, lo and behold, I'm certainly the Google Mastards are going to Google this, and you're going to read all kinds of things, and people are going to advise you that means you're not getting enough carbohydrate in your life, and to, to thwart this response, you need to up your carbohydrate, and so forth and so on, but you need to keep reading. Keep reading. If, you, if, if that's your gig... In the time you're going to read and find this out and verify this and fact check me on it, I'm going to already probably have worked out twice and who knows what the fuck, how much I've eaten and every other thing and gotten things done in my life outside and all kinds of shit going on. But you go ahead by all means and keep reading and don't give up and you'll find what I'm telling you to be true. You'll find what I'm telling you to be true. The, the part of it that we're concerned with as far as building muscle or building excessive amounts of muscle is that excess protein is uh, rid from the body. Well, we, we would be considering nitrogen by that point. Excess nitrogen derived from protein, from the protein that you've taken in, is going to be rid from the body in the form of ammonia. So it's going to be pissed out and it's going to be sweated out. And if you have an excessive amount of this, you know, you're training and you're smelling piss, this used to be a target in the old days we would shoot for. We didn't have Google, by the way. But we knew, we understood enough of how things work without having to Google, because we didn't have Google. You went to the library, you had a card catalog. How many books do you think were in the library on the shelves about bodybuilding? You know, that really got that, that deep into it back in that day. Not many. Not very many at all. Maybe one or two in each library. So, uh, but we knew that we wanted to consume enough protein that when we sweat, it smelled like urine. If we sweat and it smelled like cat piss, then we knew there was sufficient, there was more than sufficient amount of protein. Now today to build muscle, to build the same muscle, we do understand that we don't need as much protein as we once would have believed. And that there is a point where too much protein 
is not exactly the best thing for you. Okay, so if you're going to really take mad amounts of protein, don't worry about that for building the muscle. You can get by on far less to build the muscle. Save that. If you're going to go there, save that for when you go to diet. When you go to diet and get cut up, then you want mad amounts of protein. Okay, that way you're not just pounding your fucking kidneys to hell and back with protein every day of your life. Save that shit for when you get, when you get ready to cut, you know, come down and cut up. Okay, because then uh, the, you'll reap huge benefits from it, more so than if you're trying to eat that kind of protein to get big, because you don't need that much protein to get big. Uh, myself, at my fucking size, I can continue to put protein on really at about 300, 350 grams a day, more than sufficient, more than sufficient. Now, if I'm going to go get cut up, if I really am getting cut up, cut up, like really lean, then there's a time and place, and I'm going to set that within a space. You know, this time I'm going to diet in this period, and in that period, that protein intake is going to be madman high. But it's not going to go on indefinitely. You know, it's a cycle, you know, it's a cyclic thing. All right? A little bit safer that way. But if you're smelling like fucking urine, there's more than enough protein with an excess. You might want to scale the protein back a little bit. Me, I kind of like to skate that. I kind of like to skate that line. I don't want to walk around smelling like piss. And since most of the time I don't now, if I do smell it, it just verifies that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very close to that line. So, simply enough, that's pretty much the thing. Now, somebody commented when I was talking about the Labrata French Chain Amino Supplement, the powder with electrolytes. Somebody commented that uh, there's no study that has shown that there's a benefit in gaining muscle with, you know, by supplementing branch chain aminos. Well, it's pretty much just common sense. And to me, anytime you can cut a step out of the equation in anything you're trying to deliver into the body nutritionally, you're making something somewhere along the line easier on your body. Okay, the numbers, the amounts that you must consume of amino acids or branch chain aminos comparatively to the amount of food it would take to get that into the muscle, get that into the bloodstream, is greatly reduced. All right? Like the difference between drinking a shot of whiskey that's 127 proof, like that bottle of Booker's I have out there, which I haven't been drinking lately, by the way. I haven't had a shot of whiskey in months. Because it dilutes the blood and all that fucking shit's in there that I've taken good time and energy and pain to put in my body. All that nutrition, I don't want to just keep diluting it with fucking liquor. So, but I do, I love good bourbon, by the way. And I know this is, I'm going off on another tangent. And it just aggravates the piss out of some people, but it is what it is. Anyway, anytime I can cut a step out of the equation to make things easier on my body, at my age, I do that, and I've always done that, and maybe that's one reason that I'm a 53-year-old that's still pretty motherfucking massive and hanging with 20-some-year-old dudes that are up in commerce and, and hanging in there, as you'll see for tomorrow's workout. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, you don't need mad, crazy high amounts of protein. 300 grams should be pretty good for most anybody a day. I think that's quite a bit. It's enough. And... Uh, there's definitely an advantage when I take my branch chain amino acid supplement. Another person commented that he started doing it and he feels more energetic in the gym if he sips it throughout his workout. And you know what? I feel that too. 100% I feel that. It, it's, it takes more for my muscles to fatigue. When I'm working out, if I'm sipping on the branch chain aminos with the, you know, with the uh, electrolytes, if I'm sipping on that through my workout, drink, well, I drink a good amount of it. If I'm drinking that through my workout, it takes longer for my muscles to fatigue. It feels, I have a whole different feeling from it. So like I always tell you, the proof is in the fucking pudding. You try something. If you think something might be worthwhile, it might be something that you can step your game up a little more with. You go and try it. And if it works for you, you keep it. If it doesn't work, you just don't blindly do it just because everybody else around you does it. You shit can it. Different things work for different people. But if you try it and you say, wow, that really does work, and it's a benefit to you, and you feel better for it, all right? If you're not pissing, if your piss looks clean, you know, et cetera, et cetera, and you feel energetic, you're not run down, then probably whatever you're putting in your body, you're not doing harm. 
because urine is a really good ind indicator, a very early warning sign on a condition of your liver and your kidneys. So, anyway, branch chain amino supplementation while you work out, I think, is fucking well worth it. Another fellow was talking about works outside a lot in the heat, and it wouldn't be of any benefit to him. I fucking think so. Just like in the gym, you know, all that work that I do is, is, is fucking uh, condensed into a shorter period of time, you know, versus an entire day in the heat. But the entire day in the heat, I'm not keeping the same momentum constantly as I am in that gym in that condensed amount of time. So the branch chain amino helps me in the gym with that level and intensity, and I drink it all day long at work. And I believe it definitely benefits me. One thing I have noticed at the end of the fucking day, I come home and I'm only here about an hour and I go to the gym. And even after sweating all day long, I still feel great. And it just has, seems to have no negative influence on my workout. Whereas if I didn't stay hydrated the way that I do, and probably if I cut out the branch chain amino supplementation all day long with those electrolytes, I doubt that I would feel that good at the end of a whole day of sweating like that. So, like anything else, you try it and see if it makes your game any better. And if it does, then you keep it. And if you try something that's different and it works for you, fucking let me know. I may want to try it for me and see if it works. All right. Oh, and by the way, eat some protein or go to the gym or something. You guys are looking small. Wait a minute. Oh shit, that's me. Sorry about that. I'm going to the gym this afternoon. I'm going to go eat something right now. I'll catch you guys later. Have an awesome day.